is interesting. And you know, you, ordinarily you'd, you'd think there needs to be some sort of, hi Keith, some sort of suspicion. And uh, we'll talk about that later. Of course, Keith Springer is here, Smart Money. How Hello are you, there. Keith? Good Our to see you guys. Fox again. 40 financial analyst. Uh, first of all, where's the market going so far? We've been trading for about uh, 15 minutes and. Yeah, hey. we got about, we're up about 50 points today. Not a bad start. We've had uh, a lot of ups and downs this last couple of weeks because of the fiscal cliff negotiations. These guys in Washington can't seem to hit it off well, anymore. You know, you keep saying that and you keep being right. We're just kind of wandering aimlessly right now. It's actually not so happens. bad. It's a, yeah. I mean, you got to love the way this market is holding up because it should be down or could be down hundreds of points given the bad news and all the bickering going on. Geithner's, uh, you know, waving his fist. So it could be a lot worse. The market's okay. actually holding up a little better. Uh, talk to us about China. Any new news there? It's just a gigantic trading partner of ours and we buy so much of their stuff. What's going on? We do. China and this morning announced, this is what caused the futures to go up initially. China announced basically saying that they're going to do whatever they need to do for economic policy and what that means is more stimulus it means more quantitative easing on their part this is the stock market ad addicted to stimulus addicted to quantitative easing. the Chinese market actually the world market okay. because every time you notice in this country every time we have bad economic news the stock market goes up but when we have good economic news the stock market goes down that's because if we have good news and the economy continues to grow the fear is that the Fed and Bernanke are going to stop putting money into the economy pull back the stimulus and this economy is really, or these stock markets, okay. stock markets the, addicted the, to it. The Chinese are similarly, similarly infusing cash Absolutely. into their market? Okay. Absolutely. Yeah. Right. They, they do the same type of quantitative easing, the ECB, uh, which is the European, European Central yeah. Bank, and then China, which is a big part of it. Now, China actually has a, a surplus, a cash surplus, but they've been injecting trillion, billions and trillions of dollars into their economy. Mm -hmm. This morning, they basically just gave a uh, word saying, we'll do whatever it takes, which means more stimulus, and everyone on the market loves more stimulus. Yeah, I'm nervous. Well, the numbers are out as far as uh, November job postings in the private sector. 118,000 new jobs added. Is that a good thing, or were we hoping for more? We were hoping for more. ADP always gets readjusted. We have the jobless numbers that will come out on Friday. ADP is always an estimate. Uh, it's by the independent company, the payroll company. It's never right on the button. Uh, a lot of it was held back from Sandy, 118,000. Uh, they attribute 86,000 were lost because of uh, Hurricane Sandy. They think those will come back. Uh, a lot of it, though, is what's going on in Capitol Hill. If we can't get tax policy out of our lawmakers, yeah. a lot of business owners don't want to go out and hire new people. They don't know what it's going to cost. So that's definitely holding back the economy and holding back what people make decisions on. The official jobless numbers, that's just a bunch of phone calls to people's houses saying, do you have a job, right? Yeah, it's called, it's survey. <laughs> you know, you think yeah, the easiest way reliable. to do it is to simply use the, the W-2 or W-9 tax rolls because you know every day what yeah. people make money in today's uh, no, technology they're, world. They're calling houses yeah. and saying, hey, you got a job. That's yeah. how it works. That, thanks very much. Keith, we'll sure. have you here on the Red Couch yeah. next hour answering viewer hour. questions, by the way. If you have a question for Keith Springer, send it to money at fox40.com or call them up at 925-8900. And now here's Sheldon Orvis in the Atlantis Reno Traffic Center. And I'm